Hello, my beloved children of God. My name is Bonnie, and I had such a pleasure to have you here with me. And we're going to get right to the subject for July 2021. And please hit that subscribe button. You like any of the videos here? Anything resonates with you? Hit that hit that thumbs up. And until later, God bless. Don't go nowhere. Hello everyone, it is the 4th of July and I hope everyone is safe. No backfires on the fireworks or anything like that. No one's harmed in any way. Um, we kind of had an incident uh, yesterday and thank you Jesus, it was a miracle that it wasn't that bad. A firework, an actual firework that comes in the tube actually felt, oh actually wasn't put in the tube because someone didn't know. They didn't know that the firework goes into the tube and then it goes up anyway and it tipped over and it shot her right in the stomach and it could have been so much worse so we thank God for that we thank God for the protection and if you don't know me already my name is Bonnie I'm the founder of Life Changing Grace I'm a spiritual warfare consultant as well as um, a certified massage therapist so and I'm studying in uh, energy psychology actually so um, I'm always improving my skills so I can better serve you and it is a pleasure that you joined me in July and this is July 2021 in July we're going to talk about angels again because you know we kind of got on a little uh, other journey in June so um, it kind of collided angels and um, how our spirit, how our, how our soul, when we connect with other people and we become one flesh, even if it's just like a sexual relationship for only that moment of desire and even sex can be an addiction, okay? It, kind of hides the pain okay and um we need to know what it does to our spiritual health it rips your soul it's just like every single person their first passionate relationship even if it's a bad one it creates a scar it's always there okay and especially if you if you were hurt so badly that you don't want to remember it. So you shoved it down. And sometimes too, it depends too. I was an alcoholic, a very bad alcoholic, and I would pass out and I wouldn't, I wouldn't remember the things. And now it's been years and years since I've drank and memories are coming up about things the situations and how the Lord and the Spirit was truly, truly protecting me. Why is it doing this? It's going to stay blurry. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to stay blurry? Come on. Okay, I need to back up. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I'm learning my equipment, actually. So, uh, I, I get, like, really, because I could feel you guys... I know and I feel the spirit always knows the truth okay and when it comes to when it comes to a passionate relationship any relationship for that matter and there's a separation like some people you know we have stages in life and we grow stark stop <laughs> so sorry about that stop <laughs> if you guys follow me you know that you know my dog at dance and you know I share I share the joy and the praise and that's the thing is that the last thing that you really want to do and this is a spiritual warfare tactic it works all 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 the time I've got a clip for, I'll be right back don't go nowhere there are back that was even a distraction too. spiritual warfare tactics we've got to 
figure out how to use this, okay? And the first tactic, the most powerful tactic is, is even when you're emotionally upset and maybe someone's kind of experiencing something the same way as you, um, also we'll have passionate relationships with other people that have broken up and are hurting from the previous relationship. And when you do that, okay, you're bringing your pain and you're going into another relationship nine times out of ten it's it's really close to the same relationship that you just got out of but you got but the, the spirit brings you together and sometimes we get confused and a certain person might feel the same way and gone through the same thing and then we think it's like you know it's, it's a heavenly sign so you embrace your desires and your love and, you, and it feels good for the moment okay and that's how like one night stands or having multiple partners you are if you renew your mind and you realize your body is the temple of Christ you will start it'll just happen once you renew your mind and line it up with your heart, okay, and it is, it's from your mind renewal and your heart will be mended and healed along with it. Okay, our hearts, it's just like when this beast comes or something like that to bully on you and you punch it in the face. Okay, it, you, every time you have a love and you get that, you got that, um, wish I could remember the name of what, what triggers a, of your brain. It's, um, and some of you out there know that. Put a comment below. Put a thumbs up if this resonates with you. The pain that you feel, even if you don't have a sexual relationship with someone, and you love them so much, and you imagine how it would be in your head, okay? And that someone doesn't feel the same for you. Okay, and a lot of the pain is when you do have intercourse, you do have a sexual, you end up deciding to have a sexual relationship with the person, and you truly know that that person does not love you the same way. They have different likes, you know, opposites attract, you know, you, that's true in a way, but the thing is, is that you have to have something that is, you have to have the same desires, the same, it, it, things have to line up. You have to have the same passion so that when that soul and your spirit becomes one, okay, you magnify God even more when you're a couple and you're together and you understand that the body of Christ is in you and that you are forgiven no matter how many sex partners that you've had. But and this, I'm reaching out to you teenagers. I'm reaching out to the children of God, okay, that might be lacking something, you know, like feeling attention, being heard, because you, you, there's this pain, okay. And then you get in, and you, you, every time you have sex, or even making out, and your souls are touching, Another soul and another soul comes together as one. Okay, not always in our mind in the temple of God. Okay, because, and then when you separate and say it's nothing serious, you have sex with someone, and you, in your mind, you have no, or one might feel differently and the other might feel a little different. But one does not feel that passion or that love to spend the rest of the rest of their life with you. Okay, you will. I don't care how tough you are, who you are, where you're at. There is when there's going to be a guilt. There's going to be a pain. There's going to be. That's why you kids and your teenagers running through your head. You get that fear, you think it's going to happen that night or this night or whatever. You get that fear in the spirit, that fear that your soul is feeling, 
Okay, of course it's something different, you know, your first time or anything like that. And you're so in love, you think. A lot of this is false. Okay, and then you think that you engage into this sex practice and this passion. And the other person does not feel the same way as you. But you're, you're turning some negative into a positive and you're making up like a delusion in your head this person doesn't feel the same as you feel for him or her vice versa it goes both ways i've realized the girls are like out for revenge i i can't believe some of the stuff that it you know i know that history shows how you men kept secrets from us and and it just a lot of stuff like that and it's almost as though it's like karma and the women are coming after the men you men are hurting so bad okay and that's the thing when you have one soul this soul regardless whether you have a ring or if you talked about it, you come together and you have intercourse you are coming together two souls together in the spirit okay so when you're not going to do a forever you know and, and marry i mean that's the reason why god gave marriage is because we have our desires and our loves and the affection we need affection we're humans we need that affection so it's almost like if you take a piece of duct tape and you paste it together or you take some glue and you glue two pieces of cardboard together and after it dries and after it's been together and everything, you try to rip it apart. And when you rip it apart, there's some of this piece of cardboard and this piece of cardboard. This cardboard is a little bit on here and a little bit of this cardboard is stuck on here when you rip it apart okay you're ripping the spirit and the soul emotional pain and literally the um, it's the feeling of it's the worst feeling ever it's almost it's like a cut or or a punch or something physical is a whole lot better that pain is a whole lot better than emotional pain it's inside it's almost like you can't breathe and your heart is literally shattering okay and a lot of you teenagers out there okay some of you are when you're scared you're scared the spirit is telling you don't do it don't do it. Don't violate the special spiritual bond that you still have. Don't share your body. Don't be so quick to have sexual relationships with everybody. There's all kinds of stuff going on out there. This is going to be a series in July. So I'm going to go into the Bible and then I'm going to go to, um, to my... I'm going to do my live in the morning on um, Facebook, Life Changing Grace, and read the stuff out of the Bible. And I, I have different Bibles. I have the NIV, but I love my King James. I love my Dake. I love studying the Word. And every time you go in the Bible... There's instructions in, there's instructions for a reason. So I want you to ask yourself this question. Okay, put a thumbs up if this resonates with you. Ask yourself and have patience. Ask yourself, do I want to truly, do I want, am I being forced to do something I don't want to do? Or I'm not ready for okay ask yourself when they they either or may have an attitude towards it or they're in a rush rush do you really want to share that anger or that do you really want 
that person to collide in and be as one with you. Ask yourself that question over and over, okay? And the thing is, is patience is really good. Um, if someone don't have patience, it's not real love, okay? Real love is loving something that's unlovable in a sense. <laughs> so you choose to love them regardless. <laughs> and I know this seems contradicting at first, but the more you flood your soul and your mind and your, and your heart with the word of God, the living word, the promise, the good word that's always there to encourage you, okay, you'll start being able to be corrected. And if we're not corrected, it's almost like, or ask yourself, are you trainable? <laughs> are you trainable? Will you stop and actually listen to somebody else's movie point of view? Because everyone is looking from a different point of view. And when you even study the Bible, each book is from a different standpoint. You can read the words that each book has, and they have a certain type of characteristic because they've seen it from a different point of view. If you notice that some people are like, you're listening, you know, this isn't a ha this isn't a coincidence. You're listening to this, and we're talking, and you're drawn to my voice because most definitely. We are similar with the way we talk or what we do and how we express things. Now, if you're part of Life Changing Grace, you realize in some of my videos, my voice changes. So it depends on what kind of audience or the age that the Spirit wants me to give a message to. So, and I, yes, yes, you guys ask me a lot. I read lots of books and I read them over and over and over again. I love, I just, um, in fact, I want to share this with you. You can hold your Bible and you can pray, okay, and a message will come. And when you flip it open, a message just personally, just for you, just what you needed at that time will show up. Okay, it's just like when you're in a store and you're, you're not looking for a book or anything like that. You can hold a book, you can hold a CD, and you can feel what the book is about. Because somebody, somebody put their energy and their words into making that book for somebody. Okay, so it's kind of like when you do art, and because I'm an artist, as you see in a lot of my videos I have um, I paint on canvas I do all kinds of different little things and stuff like that so when you do that you're putting energy in it you're putting love you're putting it's just like um, when I say that I cook now I cook out of love because I did so much of it I had four kids of my own and then I had four kids of his so we had eight is enough Eight is enough in our home, you know, his kids. I had three girls and a boy, and he had three boys and a girl. And, you know, there's a lot of things. I want to share my experiences and where I had came from to bond with you, to realize it's our testimonies. It's not all about what we do or how we act so much because... We are to be examples, okay? So when we're examples, it isn't all about us. It's about the example in the, in the multitude of people behind you or next to you. You know, it's like, well, I'm not walking behind you. Get next to me. Let's go. You know, um, it's, it's like the footprint, the footprint, um, uh, the footprint prayer. But anyway, I want to stay on topic here. Okay, so the spirit will always have that connection. That's why when divorced couples and they got children and divorced couples 
and one calls the other person on the phone and your heart goes pitter pitter patter and you're like it's nervousness or it's it is that connection once you have sex with another person there's that there is that connection there and then when you you always remember it and then when you're born again you're born again you realize the spirit brings back into memory and you are forgiven and you got a clean slate and start all over you know and he Jesus shed his blood and he forgave us from our sins he forgave us from our sins not in our sins now the devil, of course, he will do things and he will use people to draw you back to where you came from. And it, sometimes it's a, it's a, it's a tug. Okay, it's like you got to practice. You break the habit. You're doing it for a while, and then all of a sudden, something comes in and distracts you, and then you're right back where you were at three months ago. And all that great work that you did for. 60 days or 90 days has kind of been interrupted and this also and it's okay it's okay to be like that don't be so hard on yourself because you know that each time you're going to do better and when you mess up you're going to end up having wisdom and the Lord will certainly show you the multitude of that yes, okay, that sacrifice that we made for that wisdom to try our darndest to help other people and make sure that they don't go through that same pain as we went through. And the thing is, is that we need to embrace and trust our children that there's going to be a time we got to let them go. We have to trust, okay? Even if we messed up a little bit here and there, raising them or, or training them up or whatever, we have to have trust in them, okay? Give trust, you get trust. So it's very painful for your parents to let go. Believe me, I know that pain all too well. <laughs> it was so painful, and I really got extreme. My physical body got so ill and it was just a downhill from there and of course yes I had a car wreck and I forgot a lot of my children bringing up my children I forgot little parts of bringing up my children because I had a bad head injury and that would make two times in my life head injury so in a um, back in 2016 they did they checked totally healed my brain is healed twice in the name of Jesus he's so great he's so wonderful and that is just the sum of the testimonies that I've seen so much miracles not only in my family but in other people's lives as well and then once you realize that it's almost like your faith just grows so much and it's really wonderful when it's like you go to certain places and you pray for certain people and you'll end up running into them again especially if it's like at the store or even a doctor's office it's like I, I when I go to the doctors okay and I really don't like going to the doctors because the Lord is the greatest physician ever okay I've only had one doctor that I remember in my life that ever bonused and really was working with me to achieve greatness with my health. Okay, and ever since I was a little girl, <laughs> I'm getting off the topic. But anyway, this is a testimony though. Ever since I was a little girl and I was born deaf, they were sticking me with needles and taking my blood. I was I had seizures. My head went in the, through windshield at three years old. And ever since then, I had seizures up until, oh my goodness, it's been so long. I haven't even been on any 
medications ain't had to have any of it thank you jesus so much for a really long time um let's say shoot um maybe 2000 2019 maybe or no 1919 i believe okay anyway so love love will always be there when you make the physical connections outside of that sexual relationship okay and you build on that before you even share your body before you even share the temple of god that's in you it is impossible if you are literally renewed in your mind it is literally impossible to have to feel jesus running through you as a temple of god and really wanting to carry your own cross and to have sexual relationships with multiple people okay this is a this is a demon just like anything else any other addiction or anything like that you are to treat these illnesses or these desires that are outside the commandments okay and it's outside your your soul your spirit is trying it will always benefit and always protect you so listen to your spirit it's not gonna it, it's not gonna be end of the world okay so and the thing is sexual relationship and sex makes everything complicated okay until you understand the bond the true bond and renew your mind okay and really understand the concept and the instructions that the lord gives us they're throughout deuteronomy they're through leviticus in fact leviticus in hebrew means called the church we command since since the lord shed his blood we are to go by leviticus Okay, that's the called ones. The ones that were supposed to be light and salt to the world. Okay, we feel the pain of other people and we feel the strong, and that's their strongholds. When we feel someone else's emotions, that is a stronghold. Even their pain. They may end up having a knee problem or a back problem or something like that or they're having a headache and you ain't had a headache forever and then they come around and then i get buzzing in my ears sometimes when i don't want to hear something I swear to you i'm telling you if i emotionally don't want to hear something that's bad and something i hate because you'll start to hate the things that you used to do i'm all i'm 49 you'll start to hate the things that once used to make you do things that you didn't want to do. Okay, you'll see and you'll feel the pain of that other person slightly going through a similar situation. Okay, and then you see the beauty of it, of how that magnifies God. Okay, it's like you're so thankful that you went through that before and you went through that pain and you learned from that. And then you connect with a loved one that's going through the same thing 10 or 15 years later. Okay, you literally see this. So, like I said, I welcome you to Life Changing Grace if this is your first time here. I'm so glad to be here. And leave me a, leave me a comment down below or you can go right to my page into um, communications, I think it would say and um we could have a talk back and forth just like we would if we were on facebook and talking on messenger or something like that there's <laughs> i'm not gonna say any names because i haven't asked <laughs> anyway um three of you oh my gosh i've been praying i've been praying i've been wanting three i've asked for three 
good girlfriends and I got them. I literally have them and they're really hard to come by out there. So um, anyway, you guys know who I'm talking about. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to meet more of you and take this journey in July about, we're gonna talk about angels and we're gonna talk about how our emotions affect our spirit and how we tear our souls apart to get something that we've had the whole time right here okay and we're looking outside of the world to find love when it's outside the world to find love is always always temporary and then when something happens and things change and people break up then that tear it's an emotional tear i mean it's almost like you take i should have grabbed like a like a um a salary stick and ripped it and shown you exactly how when you sit there and you go like this and you're constantly having sexual relationships with everyone and you, you keep tearing the soul and the spirit because there's one when you're having sexual relationship you're tearing it every single time you do it and it hurts more and more and more and then you get that and if you're anything like me, then you start getting angry and you start blaming the whole world, everyone in it and everyone around it for your pain. And you made that choice yourself. We only have control of ourselves, our inner selves. That's why the Lord lives inside us. We renew and we're reborn. And sometimes people have to experience, almost experience death or almost experience death you know and go through a crisis or lose everything before their eyes are open okay and that's the thing is awareness of this okay and realizing just how much the holy spirit has been holding us and protecting us it is its job because it knows the holy spirit we are assigned the holy spirit it is its job to protect us and we will judge our own angels okay so anyway i can't wait to do this segment with you in july i will see you on facebook life changing grace and we will actually get into it into depth into the word of god and stand and be corrected so ask yourself are you trainable can you take commands? Can you be st stood in correction? Because the devil is lurking like a lion and he wants to look just like where he wants to look just like that divine spirit. He wants to disguise himself and trick you so that he can rip the spirit away from your souls. So this is something extremely, extremely important for our emotional and spiritual well-being, okay? And the younger, the better. That's what this is all about. It's the passion to get out there and show the kids that they're not alone. It's not all about sticking your nose and watching and, and being in this technology, okay? And, and you got to get all these likes. You got to get all these subscribers. Da, 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 da. You know, you got to be heard. You got to have be popularity, all that. There's a lot of lonely people out there, and it ain't got nothing to do with technology, okay? It's finding that passionate love in your body that he is inside you. And realizing that you're not alone at all and he will always support you all you got to do is reach out and grab his hand he's had his hand there the whole time you just it, it, you are loved you are loved and you're you're forgiven and you take that journey of love and you just realize everything that's living is connected 
and, and you find that purpose out there. It's not in judgment. There's no way the things that I share with you is out of any judgment at all. I may laugh every now and then. Somebody might get offended by that because they're going through it right now. And it's something that I once went through or, or it's vice versa. It's what I'm going through now and that person just went through that. I have a girlfriend, Cynthia, I love you so much and you love hearing, hearing me talk to you through here. So Cynthia, you are healed in the name of Jesus. You've been in that hospital for two weeks. It is time to come home now. And we, we command this in Jesus name to come into your life and you are healed. And anyway, she had breast cancer and I love you so much. And Jesus has done so much in her life. I could not say what I would do if that happened, but I would like to say, and that's the thing, you never ever know until you actually go through something what your choice might be. So you kind of like gotta realize, well, you know, I would like to say that I'd say, okay, uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll take care of chemo, or maybe I'll just leave it up to God because he's the great physician, okay? Um, I'm almost positive, the grace of God, I would not have them cutting on me after I've had chemo and the lump's not there anymore or something like that. I would, I, I strongly believe that I would have enough faith that whatever, if I had cancer or anything like that, that the Lord would take care of it because he has taken care of so much in my life and I get so excited for it because the thing is, is if Jesus did that for me he can do it for so many other people out there and I thank you guys for sharing your stories with me and everything and and just coming together and truly making this a, a great uh, experience one-on-one -on -one. and we got a great team. We got a great spiritual team coming together. And if, anyway, I'm going to let you go right now. I hope you guys are all nice and safe and cuddled in your beds. And you had a great 4th of July. I love you, girls. I love you, everyone. My beloveds, till next time. See you. Bye-bye.